Villarreal. That's just... Whoa! He's hurt the left hook. Eubank in the corner and Eubank goes down! A stumble cut. Oh! Pesta, believe it or not, had no amateur boxing matches. All his background was in Muay Thai. I'm not seeing the jab. Oh, that one caught him. That one caught him from Diaz. Chris, how do you have it scored through four rounds? I've got three rounds to one in favor of Pesta. But you see Jojo Diaz, when he has him against the ropes like this, that's where he has look, a big advantage. Look at Jojo teeing off. Big shots by Jojo right there on the corner and back. But both these guys are tired, both of them laying it all on the line right here. One minute. Fantastic effort from both of these fighters who said, respectively, this was the biggest fight of their lives. Has to have it a pretty good fight. Big left hand there from Hester. <laughs> what do you think? Who do you have? Alejandro Rochi, 99-91, Hester. And Pat Russell scores his belt. 98-92 for your winner by split decision. From San Diego, California, Mercito, no mercy, Hesta! It seems like even Hesta can't believe that he did it. Those scorecards, Sergio, were all over the place. I like this from Carrillo, that's just... Whoa! Oh, tremendous guy. right hand from it's Edmund over. Carrillo. It's over. He timed it. As Nonshinga was making his way right. around the ring and the referee has waved it off long before completing the count. And what a right. success. A blistering knockout so rarely seen down in the light flyweight division. And Adrian Curiel at the age of 24 becomes Mexico's latest world champion in the most sensational fashion. Sit it down. Unbelievable. Pulled it over the front foot. Fourth appearance in the UK for Gareth Foley. Bobby Davis Jr. if he was to go for the gears, which I'm sure he will. He naturally likes to be on the front foot. Oh! Brilliant right hand from Gareth Foley, who was just beginning to get his right foot outside the left foot of Robbie Davis Jr. Last few seconds of the second round. He's back up, his legs look steady, but that was a lovely shot from Foley. And Foley lands a solid jab, and down again goes Robbie Davis Jr. He looked clear-eyed in the corner, but that doesn't tell the whole story, and he's going to struggle to rise here. What will Marcus McDonald decide here? Wow. And he's decided that Robbie Davis Jr. cannot continue, and Dara Foley has scored a sensational success so early. Oh, you see it there, it just gives way. Oh, wow, that's nasty. That really is nasty. This whole weight gives way on top of that ankle, and you see. Maybe stepping back with another one. Good left hand. Dummy will be looking to draw out the lead of Felix Cully. Still needs to be busy with that jab. Oh, walks onto a left hook there. Felix maybe needing to feel his way into it. He's been out for 13 months. He threw several good body shots this round, there again. Oh, good right hook from Collie. Threw a couple of nice right hands to the body, then on the third one, he threw to the head in a stumble cut. Oh! oh! He's a tremendous right hand. He's got the reputation of a man who comes to fight. And one big right hand, and Cully is in huge trouble here, with two minutes to go in the round. He's got to hold, Mike, he's got to hold on, he's got to hold, just hold on like that. Felix senses here a sensational finish. Cully desperately holding on. The biggest crisis of his professional career. No care in the world. Oh, oh that's that's a, a, he's oh. Hurt. Stop. Brilliant follow up by Felix here. As Cully did land with a left hand, but immediately Felix responded. They need to take a good look at him here. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Swinging wildly here. Referee. He's giving, it, referee's giving him every chance, but this isn't good for Cully. 
P. Taylor in the corner has got the towel in his hand. Still half a minute to go. He's there is his the hand. There's a towel. The towel. And the towel's come in. Referee and the hasn't seen it. The referee hasn't seen, seen it. He's got his back turned. Oh. And Gary Cully, finally rescued by the referee. Still, I don't think he's seen the towel coming in. If there was any way he was going to win this fight, it was by looking for a shot, landing a shot like that. That was a huge right hand. He stepped in with a shot. Down tied went Cully. Oh, tied it when he was twenty. like I see it from his first round. He was looking for that all night. He left himself there to be hit. But like we said the blueprint was there. The Sandor Martin fight showed exactly what you've got to do to beat Phoenix. Stay out of trouble, stay out of the way. When you've got the advantages that Cully's got, use them. Use the jab, use the feet. But he just, he was so eager to impress the crowd. He let his hands go. And he's still not right, he's still not right. Yeah, you can see. Looking at him here across the ring, and he, they need to get him to the hospital and get him looked at. Security in the corner, waving at the referee, saying the towel's come in. That arm, you could see her wiggling it at the end of the round and then did not use it the same way the rest of the night. Oh, big left hook from Ali, hurts Guzman. It's been just missing. Oh, that was a good right hand from Guzman. Play, right, play, right, play, stop! Yeah, interesting, uh, our question heading into this fight was, oh, nice shot there from Ali, a crisp right hand and a left hook right behind it. Not only is Guzman not hesitant with the right hands, frankly, the only thing she's throwing right now. There it is again, There's good a, shot. Good shot there from Guzman. Chopping right hands seemed to stun Ali a little bit. There's another one from Guzman, that one oh, locks Ali back. See, this is where Guzman's dangerous. Oh, big left hook too from Guzman. Best sequence of the fight for Guzman, who sneaks in another left hook. Hey, hey, Good hey, action to end the round, given what it is. Oh, another big overhand oh, right lands. And Ali is in trouble. Oh, big left hook too from Guzman. Ali is hurt, but Ali is firing back. Guzman being smart, going down to the body now. Oh, big, big left, left hook, hook connects from Guzman. But now it's back to what got her here, her boxing ability. Oh! oh down goes Ali on a perfect Three, right hand. Three, four, five, six, seven. And she is going to be eight, saved by seven. the bell here, Corey. You good? Yeah, those legs don't look good. Yeah, Guzman's realized that she can't beat her in speed, but she can beat her in time. Oh, big right hand again from Guzman. And a body shot, too. Well, as well as questions about whether Ali. Oh! oh. Big Good overhand right hard. again. And they want more movement. Ooh. Standing in the pocket like that is not part of the game plan. Good left oh. there from Guzman and doubles it up. Rocks oh. the head back of Ron Lali. Provided she could be victorious here tonight. And that is not a guarantee because left hooks like that from Guzman are breaking through. All right hands up until the last round where she landed some big left hooks that shook. Oh, Ali. down goes Ali and she is out. Victory for Alejandra Guzman. Wow. An improbable comeback for Guzman, who thought her career was over. Opportunity, man. And this is what he's doing when he got it. He knocked out Barraza in 2022. Before that, his previous knockout was in 2019. He was a going distance guy. He was the boring guy. This is an exciting Giovanni Santillan. The power punch is on his side. Everything is on his side. Anytime a fighter lands over 50% of the power shots, it's just money in the bank. Oh, oh, it's Santillan. They should fight this and stop this fight. That's it. And it's under. Giovanni Santillan has knocked out Alexis Rocha in the sixth round. And the guy who the order stays undefeated. 32-0, 17 KOs. The Golden Rooster just laid his own golden road to a title shot. What a performance. That process here. Galau, you fight straight on the front foot, looking for the big left hand. Good work with a right hand. Inside the first half a minute, Tommy Frank pays a visit to the canvas. Galau, as you can see, is very animated. So Frank must have said something to uh, bring that to a bubble. Yafai, time and again, has said that he's a man who lets his gloves do the talking. And they're speaking loud and clear here tonight. 
Yeah, he's looking vicious, he's looking spiteful. That left hand, very, very accurate with the shot. No, he's looking spiteful because it's the comment about, oh, you know, it doesn't matter what he'd done as an amateur. You know, um, that don't go down too well. Yeah, with, he, uh, he looks him. wound up, he doesn't look happy, and he's really put the foot on the gas. Non-stop pressure from your fire. And this is the amateur pedigree to the fore. Big left hand again as Frank somehow tries to avoid the oncoming onslaught. But time and again he's being caught. He's in with quality he's never faced before. But Mattel comes in just after halfway in the opening round. The corner has seen enough and Galal Yafai produces another blistering performance. Five fights as a professional, four finishing inside the distance and that one went barely past the halfway mark of the opening round. Good shot. shot. Smith going to work. He's heard the left Eubank in the corner and Eubank goes down. Oh, Eubank's all over the place. His legs have gone. That attack from Liam Smith has got Eubank in all sorts of trouble. I'm not sure he's going to make it. Victor Lachlan wants him to walk to it, but this could be a sensational end in the fourth round, and he catches him. Coming in, Eubank's in all sorts of trouble. Liam Smith's going to stop Chris Eubank Jr. Again, it's waved off by Victor Lachlan, and Liam Smith has made the statement of all statements. I think Chris Eubank thinks he's still in the fight. Unbelievable. That was literally the only scenario that you couldn't, that, you, that no one thought would happen. Is you, is not only Smith stopping Eubank, but stopping him in round four in Eubank's time. This is Eubank's time that he was going to be winning the fight supposedly. It was, it was a right hand that started. He, he had him in the corner. He unloaded. He just went to pieces. Eubank, Eubank with the fantastic chin that he's shown time and time again. By the way, well the legs were completely gone. The assault from Liam Smith. And it looked fairly innocuous, but Eubank what? Jr. all over the place after that initial assault. And then obviously Liam caught him with the first shot after the referee deemed Eubank Jr. fit to carry on. And that was it. He was gone. He, he, Absolutely yeah. gone. World of work on the ropes. Good. Good left hook from Cameron. Superb attack from Cameron at the end of this opening round. Good right hand over top. This is serious pressure. Unrelenting pressure from Cameron. Given hook from Katie. Blocked, partially blocked by Cameron. Looking for a own hook to the body and head. Good jab. Good start jab. They're great punches. And listen to the ovation from the crowd. But Cameron knew that would happen. Cameron and a good right hand to the head. They didn't take care of that back, that braid in the corner. That's going to definitely affect Katie's vision. And she lands a one-two, Cameron. Good work on the ropes here. Katie's in trouble here. Good left hook from Cameron on the inside. That's Alicia. Good hook up to from Katie. Great body shot from Cameron. Total toe action here, back and forth. And this is the fighting spirit that has made Katie Taylor the champion she is. Brilliant uppercut from Cameron. And listen to the response of every success for Taylor. Gasco from Katie Taylor. Mixing his tacks downstairs and upstairs. Good hook inside from Cameron. They're standing toe to toe, Mike. This could be in a farm box. One, two, hook. When our punches together. She's countering well off the ropes. Good left hooks to the body and head from Katie Taylor. But back comes Cameron. She has to keep it. Great combination from Katie Taylor right down the middle. Great punches. There you go. Glording here next to us in the Great Cameron corner. Great uppercut from Cameron. Might be swaying these judges. Look at his toe-to-toe -to -toe action. And just as we expected, a furious exchange. Right on the and Cameron. Yes. Tremendous action all the way through the contest. And still, the undisputed super lightweight champion of the world, Chantel Il Capo Cameron. 
landing the shots. We see a moment ago, Wilder just poked out the double jab. He needs to double feint, step in twice, then look for the right hand. Almost any boxer you ask will say you're never going to get a knockout when you're looking for one. It just has to come. It seems like Wilder is only looking for the knockout. Yeah, look, he's looking for something to pounce on. Yeah, you can hear behind us saying, let it go. Yeah. You've got to let the shot go. Bill Haney, I believe that was the father of Devin Haney, shouting instructions to Deontay. But I think that's what everybody's saying at home right now. Let it go, Deontay. And listen, that. Point of oh, 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 big shot. Wilder took a big right hand right there, came right back. That's the thing about Wilder, he's a reactive fighter. Anytime he hits something, he's gonna try to get it right back. That could work against him with a slight fighter like Parker. Loves it. This is time and his side now. If I'm Joe Parker, I'm taking a knee. A big right hand right there. I might take three knees. 30 seconds to go. Of course you'll take a knee, man. Parker thinking about the exclamation point. Caught Wilder with a left hook. Right here. Sugar Ray Leonard moment because you shocked the world. Go to the winner by unanimous decision from New Zealand. He is Big Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker delivers in the biggest fight of his life.